Family Hikes of Mount Rainier got three hikes for you, all out and back from the same trailhead. You can go to Christine Falls, 20 minutes out and back, about a half mile, great view. You can go all the way to Comet Falls, a little over three hours hiking, plus stops, awesome waterfall. And if you wanna go the extra mile to Van Trump Park, High elevation, but beautiful views. From the trailhead, just before the Christine Falls viewpoint, you can hike about a quarter mile, less than 100 feet up to Christine Falls, great view. Then continue on if you'd like. Another 1,100 feet of elevation gain, over 1.65 miles, to the viewpoint for Comet Falls, amazing views. And then if you have it in you, another one mile and a thousand feet of elevation gain will take you all the way up to the mountain views at Van Trump Park. Enter on Highway 706 at the Nisqually entrance, drive 20 minutes past Longmire, Cougar Rock, and right after you go around a posted 15 mile an hour curve, you'll see on your left the unmarked pullout for the Comet Falls Trailhead. The lot is often full by 9 a.m., so you may need to park on the side of the road. The trailhead begins at the sign, however, the sign has posted the old Comet Falls Trail. Have a current map. Now, if you've ever driven past this, you've likely had a teaser view of Christine Falls from your car. And if you've wanted to see more, this is the hike for you. Head on up the trail, about 10 minutes and a quarter of a mile later, you'll come out on a sturdy two rail bridge. And this bridge will give you excellent views, both upstream and downstream of Christine Falls. For the short version of this hike, you can turn back here. But if you'd like to continue to Comet Falls, head across the bridge and 300 feet of elevation gain and 20 minutes later, you will reach the first 12 switchbacks. After another half hour and an additional 300 feet of elevation gain, you'll reach the wooden stairs. During this portion of the hike, be sure to keep your eye out down the scree slopes. Anywhere there's lots of rocks, you may find the elusive pika. Enjoy views of the valley as you ascend the next 400 feet over 30 minutes from the wood steps to Playground Rock. And when you get here, be sure to take a break. The natural stairs in the side of the rock makes it a convenient place for kids to stop and play. You've now completed the majority of your elevation gain and the final 20 minutes and 100 feet to Comet Falls will take you over a single rail bridge be sure to look back after you cross. And over a rise to your first view of the falls. These views will stick with you as you continue toward the ultimate viewpoint, occasionally giving you a rainbow in the mist. For the best viewpoint of the lower falls, you'll need to continue past the switchback. So when the trail turns, don't. Keep going straight and around the side of the hill to see the falls in all its glory from the basin. This majestic view is certainly worth the trip. And if you're done, you can turn around here. However, if it's a clear day and you'd like to see the mountain, continue up the trail past the switchback towards Van Trump Park. The going here is certainly steep, though there are stairs in many places. And you will soon break out into panoramic views. After 35 minutes and 650 feet of elevation gain, you'll see the cutoff for Van Trump Park. Take a right. Head up the trail, and you'll be rewarded with your first view of Mount Rainier. The first clearing you come to will offer you a break on the final 10 minutes and 250 feet ascent, but it is not Van Trump Park. Continue on the trail past it, take a right following the marked trail, and you will now be on the final ascent to Van Trump Park. This is where the maintained trail officially comes to an end. However, if you continue past on the unmaintained trail, you will see additional panoramic views of the mountain to the north. And if you look to the south on a clear day, you may even see Mount Adams. Be warned, however, the weather changes often and mountain views can quickly disappear. Though there is a very good chance that you will still be joined by the local wildlife. Because of all the elevation gain, I would really only recommend the Van Trump Park hike for experienced hiking families. Lots to see, but give yourself at least six hours on the trail to include breaks and definitely bring water and a meal. 
Comet Falls is still difficult, but a more reasonable undertaking. And in either case, your return trip is going to take about 80% as long as the hike in. And if you're just introducing the kiddos to hiking, Christine Falls is certainly worth it. Short walk, great view. Either way, enjoy your hikes at Mount Rainier. Thanks for watching.